So Sophie, tell us a bit about yourself and a bit about the Ripple project. I'm Sophie Ray and I'm the founder of Ripple and Ripple is Cardiff's first not-for-profit zero waste store and uh, that means that Ripple will be a new retail experience for consumers of Cardiff and the aim is to be able to reduce our plastic consumption which I particularly am very passionate about because I can see that plastic pollution at the moment is really hitting quite hard. Okay, so um, your plan is to change how people shop. Hopefully, yeah. And um, what do you think is the most important thing to change in It's awareness. Um, I'm not here to tell anybody how to shop. Um, I don't really mind how you consume as long as you consume consciously. And I think that's what we've all suddenly become aware of as we've seen the rise in plastic pollution and the media picking up on it. It's that we seem to have this disassociation that when we get rid of our rubbish, that's the end of the problem. But of course, it's out of sight, out of mind, but it's not really out of the equation. Somebody else then has to deal with it. And you probably do a lot of behind the scenes stuff in social there media then? a lot behind the scenes. Yeah, social media is definitely a... Um, I'm trying to be very honest on social media, but of course it's certainly a highlight reel of people's lives. So um, I guess I'm a little bit more honest on stories because I like to talk to camera, but definitely there are lots of things behind the scenes going on that makes this not as easy a project as people think it might be. So um, you're talking about your brand. Yes. So are you going to expand uh, beyond the shop? You're going to have maybe, because like, I know you mentioned on the Kickstarter, there's going to be like yoga and cycling and stuff like that. Like, in the so of they shop. are the rewards. <laughs> that are attached to our Kickstarter. It's not something specifically that I can offer at Ripple yet, yeah. but the joy of Ripple and the more people that get involved and the impact it has means the further reach we can have. So of course, I have big plans for what I'd love to, it to be. Um, I have a strong urge to have an educational side of this. I think zero waste and the environmental impact that we're all making and choosing to have on it our shop each day is hugely beneficial and I, it needs to hit a younger generation. The last question I've written down, how good is a bath and water from? <laughs> they're amazing. I mean, they make you feel very ethically smug, which is good enough in itself. But they're so wonderful because uh, the bamboo bris the bristles themselves actually are still plastic. They have to be. Um, but that small amount is the only thing that's going to landfill after you finish that toothbrush. And every plastic toothbrush ever made is still in existence today, in some way or another. And when you think about that, it makes you think, well, what could I then use the bamboo handle for once I've finished? And I know lots of funny stories of people who are using them as um, you know, plant holders out in the garden in their allotments, yeah. or they're using them to clean around the drains or something. That they're, they're finding new uses for it. But basically, they can just be, they're completely biodegradable. Bamboo is a fantastic material, and it's the fastest growing reusable source of, of material as well. So. Sounds good. Okay. Um... Is there anything else you'd like to say about your project with Kickstarter? Uh, just that I'm really happy to talk to anybody if anybody's uh, looking to learn more about this kind of way of living. It's, it's the future actually of the way we shop on our high street and it will certainly expand and grow in, in the city. Not just by myself, I know there's a really passionate community of people who are already really hoping that this kind of shop takes off and then we'll see multiple kind of shops like this in the city. So my dream is that everybody has a, a chance to shop like this because when we, if we all had the chance to shop more consciously, why wouldn't you? Everybody would want to surely have some good impact if they could do more. They wouldn't be competition for me. I feel like it's, we're, we're all aiming for exactly the same goal. So uh, it's, it's, it is. It's why I decided the Ripple is not for profit because it's so much bigger than me. It's so much more than just myself. Um, I'm not doing this to get rich. I'm doing this to spread an incredibly needed message. I just hope yeah, lots of people are willing to start listening. All right, that's a message to do. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much.